New report shedding light on the pandemic's effect on education. The National Assessment of Educational Progress reports every single state saw a historic loss in math or reading scores. Dewan Hogard is live in Raleigh with details on what that report says about our students here in North Carolina. Hi, Dewan. Well, hi, Lauren. These results come as no surprise as we knew some level of an impact would uh, uh, would be facing our students as the pandemic plagued a lot of these kids in virtual learning. But we did not know exactly what these results would show. But now we do. The nation's secretary of education calling the test scores appalling. Fourth and eighth grade students across the country recording their lowest math and reading levels in years. I think there are a lot of kids that fell way through the cracks. Leslie Lowe has a daughter in Orange County and notes the difference in how the school districts responded to the pandemic that could have played a part in how North Carolina students fared and the amount of testing in general. The other thing I had time to reflect on was the fact that she is a fifth grader now, so she is part of that fourth grade um, database. And she, had, you know, she took the COGAT, she took iReady, she took the EOGs, and the disparity between all three of those was ridiculous. In North Carolina alone, fourth and eighth grade reading levels haven't been this low since 1992 and 1998, respectively. Math scores for both grades in the state also on the decline, due in large part to the pandemic and students forced to learn virtually. It's because different school systems didn't have the type of virtual classroom that my daughter experienced. And and what are they going to do? I mean, it was a crisis that we have never had before, that we never had to deal with. U.S. Education Secretary Miguel Cardona calling the results both appalling and unacceptable and a reminder on how the pandemic affected students and going on to say students cannot be the ones who sacrifice most now or in the long run. People were scrambling and unfortunately our kids are bearing the brunt of that. And we did have a chance to reach out to Wake County Public Schools for their response. They say they are reviewing the data, and that's because uh, this test was done on a nationwide level, and it looked at results across each state and not necessarily a uh, district by district within the state of North Carolina. So once they review it, uh, they'll go ahead and have something for us uh, for parents to review. We're live in Raleigh tonight. Dwan Hogard, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.